Hi guys and welcome back. So in this video we're going to be building three different ships. We're going to be building a sloop, a schooner and a brig all based off the same design. And what I'm going to be doing is explaining how I've actually built these, how I've gone about using one single model that we're using SketchUp for and how we can actually bring that through to uh, building in Minecraft. Now if you're new to the channel at all we do a lot of tutorials and time lapses just like this one so make sure to hit the subscribe button. Anyway, let's get into the building part of this. All right, so today I'm gonna to be using this model here, which is by Mark P, and I'm using uh, SketchUp. So this is now uh, Trimble SketchUp. It used to be called Google SketchUp. So uh, it's an awesome kind of tool. Go and like grab it. There's a free version of it as well if you are applicable for, for the free version. Um, but yeah, you can go and have a look on the model kind of uh, 3D warehouse. So this is the one that I actually found, and what I've done is pulled that into a little local kind of version. So this is the one that we're going to be using. I'm going to be using this to make a sloop, a schooner, and also a brig. Um, and the thing I kind of liked about it is that it kind of comes to this point at the end, so it's actually really kind of comes in quite sharply. It's also a single gun deck as well, so it's going to work quite nicely for uh, those three different ships with just having a gun deck for the brig part of it. So yeah, um, you can also do the same with using reference pictures as well. So I do recommend, you know, guys, if you are building an actual factual ship, get as many reference pictures as you can and put them into a put them into a folder so you've got them nearby and spend the time up front to kind of do that. You always need to go back to go and get specific references about like small parts of the ship, but it can be really good. In my case, this model has got everything that I need because I can kind of see the shape of it. Um, and this is why I kind of use this because you can see it from the side, you can kind of get that nice shape. Uh, and figure it out. Um, as always with these ones, I end up um, for each of the different ship types changing the design a little bit and we'll kind of like go through that in a second. But let's get on to the sloop. So to get started, I started with the hull as I always do with ships. It's the most important part and everything kind of flows off of it. Um, start with blocks. This is my biggest piece of advice is start with blocks first. Get a rough idea of what you want to do on the top and also on the bottom. In this case, I want to move like white on the bottom and oak on the top. Uh, and then start to put in slabs and stairs now that we can actually have, you know, underwater slabs and stairs. Well, I'm looking a little bit weird. Uh, so make use of it, but always start with blocks first. So you can see that with this one, I've also bowed the deck. So this is to give it a bit more of that natural kind of um, ship shape. Um, and again, put in more little bits of details. I use World Edit to copy and paste it over to the other side. It just means that um, there's no mistakes made at all. Uh, you can help see me putting in the bow sprit using a different coloured wood there to match what I've got for the main mast. So with a schooner, you've got one mast, and off of that, you've basically got a jib and a mainsail. So connecting up with the fence to the uh, bow sprit, and then just putting in this this other part of the mast coming off of that. And there we go, you can see it's putting in a little bit of details. Um, I've been connecting these up lately with bits of fence. Uh, this has just been helping with my sails, actually. Um, and it also looks pretty cool. It kind of breaks up the, the just block of white that you kind of get. Um, so with this one, I was really struggling with the jib sail. That's this this frontmost sail. Um, and yeah, um, I'm going to end up like tweaking it once I put it into my world properly. But for the time being, it'll work. So with the main sail, just trying to make it look like there is a lot of wind behind it. So it's actually being pushed. And I was quite happy with that. And then just putting in the shrouds. So the shrouds are the parts that go up onto the side, which um, whenever you see any of those pirate movies, they're always climbing up on them. So um, yeah, putting in those, it's usually easier with the sloop to put it on the other side first and then flip it over. But there we go, a nice little simple ship, just putting in the last couple details. But that is at least a simple sloop, uh, which I quite enjoy making those. So moving on to a schooner, of course, schooner a little bit bigger. It's um, very similar to the sloop though. So it's got, it's just a basically a bigger kind of version of a sloop with two masts instead. So you've actually got um, your normal foremast and also a main mast, but the sail kind of plan is pretty much the same. So with this one, I wanted to make uh, use of the new kind of colored woods that we've now got, uh, and also go with a bit, uh, bit of darker kind of wood as well. So using dark oak on the top here. Um, so there we go, just building up the sides of this. Again, trying to get a nice curve on the actual deck. It just always looks a lot more natural and a lot better. And from that design that we saw in SketchUp, you can kind of see the actual shape of this one coming in because we've got a lot more uh, space to play around. So you can actually see it that it's wider in the middle and then kind of tapers off at the end of this cabin. And of course with this one, because we've got the size, I can actually make a cabin, which I always enjoy playing around with different designs for it and trying to make that look good. So there you go, playing around with lots of different materials there and using different woods, especially to really make it look quite ornate. So with the two sails, uh, what you get with the schooner is 
Generally speaking, the foremast, the one that's at the front, is slightly smaller than the main mast. So the main mast is the one that's nearer the back. So you get these two here, uh, which are nice and simple. Uh, off camera, I'm just putting in loads of little details and I'm actually gonna end up copy and pasting that over. So there we go, you can see there. So I've now got a strip of um, spruce, then the colored wood, then the dark oak at the top. Um, it was just to make it look a little bit more interesting. See, we're now putting in the parts for these two uh, main sails. So we've got that there. Again, with the bowsprit, joining that up with fence uh, just helps everything kind of work out. And again, with these two, um, to make those main sails, uh, connecting it up with using fence again as a guide. Um, this has been just working so well for, for what I've been doing lately. And just putting in the details on the actual sails, making them up, and you know, trying to make them look natural like they're being pushed, which is always good. Then as we come around to the other side, this is where I was saying it was similar with the sloop, which is when you're building the um, the shrouds, uh, then always build them on the other side for sloops and for schooners. It'll make it so much easier you can get it all right. And then when you go around to the side, you can then detail that up. Also adding in some details onto the beak as well. So using oak wood, which uh, kind of contrasts against the other types of wood that we've got on the build to really make it look quite nice and detailed. But overall, a quite nice little looking schooner. So getting on to the biggest of all of these, which is the brig. Um, I wanted to actually use this one in my military, so I decided to actually put in a gun deck. Um, so again, starting off with really big blocks, doing a bit of detail. In this case, I ended up doing all of it in white initially, just to kind of get the shape right first. Uh, because sometimes you'll find with colors uh, that it does change the shape uh, in your eyes, even though it hasn't changed the shape at all. Um, so then you can see this, I'm now putting in a stripe of um, dark oak and then you've got your, uh, some, some birch and then goes back down to dark oak again before it goes to the white and making sure we've got this kind of working its way up building that nice cabin as well because we've got such a bigger cabin and trying to be a bit more ornate with the details you can now see on the other side how much it's actually bowing with that deck so that you've got this nice big section uh, kind of coming up and that gives a lot more room in the cabin as well uh, but much bigger much much bigger than both the sloop and and also the schooner so again get your details right on one side if you've got world edit you can just do exactly what i'm going to do now which is copy and paste it onto the other side just flip it over uh, which saves a lot of time i'm now putting in where i wanted the guns and what i ended up doing is actually dropping three of the guns right in the middle down an entire block this is because of the way that the deck was working as well with the with the with the actual um with the ship so putting in lots of details on the beak using oak wood again you put in a bowsprit so with a brig we're going with two two masts um, but they're just rigged in a slightly different way so what we're gonna go with with that we've got the the main yeah, main foremast uh, going on we've also got another main mast again foremast is usually shorter than the main mast or the main mast is bigger than the, the other one uh, whatever you want to say you get this with a brig at least uh, this back part of the sail which um, is referred to as a spanker or a driver which I always find quite funny with the spanker part of it so you put in that as well and it gives it that distinctive shape and the rest are kind of like square square rigged and they've all got different names and in this case I'm just going with a much simpler uh, sail plan but you can get quite a number of sails going up these main masts so building up the shrouds on each of these sides um, this was a lot easier with bricks with the square rigged you can actually do this you don't have to then smash them into the sail so getting those built up first um, it makes it a lot easier for when you're copying it onto the other side which is what I did then build up the sails so in this case I've just got two sails on the foremast uh, again that could go up to like five uh, or six cells. You can actually get quite a lot of cells in with these, um, which is quite crazy what you can actually see on the original ships. Uh, building on the jib, we can do a lot more with this now because it's a lot bigger as a ship, so you can really have this curve out and back in again. Then building up the sails on the main mast as well. Uh, so this all looks kind of quite nice. Got nice big sails there, uh, especially for that one. And with Minecraft, of course, if you've got big sails, you could do lots of little ones, but if you do big ones, you can then exaggerate how much wind is behind it and it looks really good. So here are the finished builds. We've got the nice little uh, sloop. I think I'm going to be using that one as a small kind of like fishing ship. Um, it just kind of like fits perfectly for that. We've then got the schooner. So I'm really happy with how the schooner turned out, especially using the new wood as well. So we've got that nice color going in through that. And also you get more details on the beak as well using oak wood. So always contrast with different types of wood to really accentuate different points of it. So that then kind of goes over to the bowsprit. 
And then, of course, my favourite one, uh, which is going to be that because it's got guns on it, it's got cannons on it, which is the brig. So I'm really happy with how the brig turned out with this, um, especially with the bowed uh, kind of shape of it and everything. But everything just kind of seems to work a lot better. The bigger you go, the better it generally looks. But thanks, guys, for watching. If you liked it, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.